Hey everybody, it's Diana here. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well. So it's Sunday and it's gotten to be quite chilly on this day before fall actually begins, which I think it's on the 21st and maybe the 22nd, but whatever it is outside, it's kind of cool. So since it's Sunday, I decided to get a head start on my planning for the week. And um, one of the things that I am trying to learn is how to do hand lettering. I have seen so many people's posts and their planners where they've actually done the hand lettering themselves. And I was like, wow, I'd really kind of like to learn how to do that. So that's what I decided I would try to do today. So let me take you on a tour of everything that I've kind of got going on right now. All right. So here we go. Okay, so what I have here are a whole bunch of pens. Um, as I've said before, I like to color code my task because it is so much easier for me to keep track of the various to-do lists that I have. For instance, finance is always in green because why? Money is green. Anything that I'm doing that's human relations, uh, human resources related, that's always in blue. Um, I don't know why, but people blue. If I'm doing something for corporate, it's in black. If it's something I'm doing for myself, then it is in fuchsia, which is my favorite color. And if I'm doing anything in Nabo, I have a teal color, this one right here, and Nabo teal. So I've gotten these Erin Condren pens the other day. These are actually dual tip brush pens, and they come in... A variety of color they uh, have a multi-pack of them these are just regular pens they're also in dual tip um, they're thin on one side medium on the other that way if I have something that is really really pressing I can do it in the medium tip instead of the um, thin tip these I just got today um, Somebody had posted about them, and I'm a sucker for trying to find <laughs> new items. So I bought those. Those are supposed to help me with my um, hand lettering also. And these are just regular pens also in color. Um, these are actually scissors. These are really cool. I got these from Erin Condren. I used them to um, cut my washi tape. So that's all. that's all of my washi tape over there. Those are all my stickers. And I'll use those when I get into the planner later on. So anyway, back to the hand lettering. So I have these stickers that I got from Planner Kate. And Planner Kate is on Etsy. Um, I use Planner Kate. And then I also use the Happy Planner. This is the fitness. So I'm using it to track things like when I work out, my water intake, and whatever. But in my planner, um, everything's, you know, daily. Then I get to the weekend and I want to have something different and I found these and I was like, you know, I've always really liked this font. So instead of trying to um, buy more stickers, I'm like, let me learn how to, to, to do this myself. So here we go. Um, I started off by just actually tracing what the stickers had. And this is what I came up with. Um, so it, you know, I started with one of the thinner ones and I was like, well, let me try to use the, the brush pens. And as you can see, it got a little bit better, a little bit better. That's one of those thin pens again. And I was like, okay, you know, it's going to take some practice. And I got there and then I got to this because I actually have pretty nice handwriting. So I said, well, let me just try to use my handwriting with the uh, brush tip pen. And this is what I got. So I used the um, fine section or fine side of the brush pens, the Erin Condren brush print pens. But um, this is where I am. So I'll keep you posted on how it's going. But it's so much fun. There you have it. That's what I'm doing right now. And um, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you next time. Bye.